First out the gate, you know, it may be the start of the NFL season, but the biggest story in sports comes out of college football. Of course, we're talking about Deion Sanders winning his first game as head coach of Colorado by a decisive score of 45 to 42. Wasn't even close. No, not at all. But of course, you know, the biggest story in the game was the performance of Deion's son, quarterback Shadur Sanders. And Tony, this performance could have a huge impact, not just on football, Football, but the entire human race. Isn't that right? Absolutely. You know, all these college coaches spend so much time recruiting other people's kids, but Dion is making everyone realize that all they have to do is just produce their own kids. I mean, if you're in the NFL Hall of Fame and we talk about building the DNA of a football team, wouldn't it make more sense to build a team using your own actual DNA? Great point, Tony. I mean, you know, you talk college recruiting. Well, what an edge in college recruiting if the only travel you got to do is, you know, walk downstairs to the living room and go, hey, you're on the team. Yeah. You know, I don't like to get religious on this show, but as it says in the Bible, be fruitless and multiply. And well, the Bible is the ultimate playbook. So beautifully said, Tony. And uh, that leads us to another big story out of college football. You know, people are once again calling Urban Meyer a, quote, pervert because he was once again spotted on camera making apparent overtures to a woman half his age while he's still married. But, you know, Tony, when you break this whole thing down, this criticism is just totally misguided, isn't it? One hundred percent. I mean, if a cameraman catches Urban Maya hitting on a girl, then why don't we call the cameraman a pervert? Yep. He's the one holding the camera, doing the peeping. And why are we faulting Urban Maya here? Shouldn't we praise him for being so attractive? He's clearly a great recruiter of men and women. Great points all around, Tony. And now let's move to a developing story out of the NFL. A big scare for the Kansas City Chiefs as tight end Travis Kelsey is dealing with a knee injury that has many people questioning his availability heading into the season. Now, as journalists, it is so important that we handle this story delicately because there is nothing more serious than an injury which could potentially impact a player's career. So, so true. on the story, we are going to refrain from commenting. Isn't that right, Tony? Absolutely. At a time like this, it would be so easy to say something like, his knee gave out from having to carry the team, or the Chiefs got the wrong Kelsey brother, or something like how Travis Kelsey will be on crutches like he's been a crutch for the overrated Patrick Mahomes. You see, that stuff we won't say in a moment like this. You see, people, that's the professional way you handle it. So nope, that's beautifully how you said do it. by With you, class Tony. And take dignity. notes, take notes, yeah. kids trying to come up in the business. That's how yeah. you do it. Delicate. And uh, on that, we're going to move to uh, the team, the Eagles, who, you know, technically did beat the Chiefs in the oh, Super yeah. Bowl. But that's not the end or there. Uh, nope. we, you know, moving into the season now, it's time for us to give our official prediction, you know. And, you know, we know you people out there, you think, oh, you know, Paulie, Tony, they're just going to predict that the Eagles are going to go 17 and 0. Oh, That's come crazy on. talk, people. Come nope. on. You know. We're professionals. Yep. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to break down their schedule week by week to show you what ex- what's going to happen exactly. So yeah, here, exactly. Here we go. We're going to lay it out week, for yeah, you. Week one at the Patriots. Win. Week two hosting the Vikings. Win. Week three at Buccaneers. Win. Week four hosting the Commanders. Win by 70 points. Week five at the Rams. Their QB's too old. Win. Week six at the Jets. Their QB's even older. Win. Week seven hosting the Dolphins. They'll have a backup QB at that point. Win. Week eight at the Commanders. Win. By forfeit. Week nine hosting the Cowboys. Easy win. All right, week ten's a bye. Week 11 at the Chiefs. Travis Kelsey probably still out. Win. Week 12 hosting the Bills. Overrated. Win. Week 13 hosting the 49ers. We beat them last year. Win. Week 14 at the Cowboys. Trey Lance will be their QB at this point. 
but still win. Week 15 at the Seahawks. Boring win. Week 16 hosting the Giants. Win by 90 points. Week 17 hosting the Cardinals. Week 18 at the Giants. They'll lose both these games as they rest their starters and second string for the playoffs. But these games will still be very, very close. Only two or three point losses. So there you have it, people. 15 and 2. Totally reasonable. Yup.